founders of Rise decided that they wanted to make a real thermoplastic engineering uh, 3D printer, but to adapt the process so that they can solve a lot of the limitations of today's plastic 3D printers. So the process is uh, a thermoplastic extrusion to create the layer. And that, in that way, it's the most efficient way to get real plastic down on, on layer by layer. But to solve the limitations of today's thermoplastic printers, we're jetting with a very high resolution industrial jet head, uh, 300 DPI, three to seven picoliter drops, uh, voxel by voxel in between each layer. Now that solves a few of the problems. It allows the product to have release between the support and the model, making virtually zero post-processing. Um, and, and if you look at our video, you'll see it takes what might be three hours in a sodium hydroxide tank with another technology, down to 25 seconds, right at a conference room, popping off the supports. But we also can jet uh, color. So right now we're jetting this uh, pretty blue color. Uh, and this particular part is jetting on 10 different surfaces. So the bottom and four insides, and the outside and four outside layers, uh, because we can jet every voxel in every part. But um, on top of that, in the future, we will can jet many, many materials inside the part, making smarter parts, adding characteristics that couldn't ever be thought of in 3D printing before, like thermal channels or, or uh, conductive, uh, conductive layers, um, um, static dissipation, uh, little ant antenna, so, so many different things that we can jet in, in the part. So with the isotropic strength properties, because we can jet between each layer, the next step is full color solution. Isotropic strength, it's a real engineering plastic part, and we will fill the edges, which are another limitation of thermoplastic extrusion, fill the edges with a, kind of a, a lacquer finish, making smooth surfaces. So now you have a real production part. If you have a real engineering plastic, isotropic strength, full color, so you have better than injection molding part quality with a smooth surface. So now you get into low volume manufacturing, spare part replacement, and real custom end use parts. Those features are due by the end of this year.